Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Next Tech AR Solutions channel today. We are sitting here once again with Evan, and we want to dive into a nice juicy news release for you guys. But first off, Evan, how goes it today? Goes really well. Thanks. Wonderful, wonderful. So kick us off. Tell us about this Arway acquisition. Sure. So we've been uh, looking at um, the whole AR ecosystem for the past three years. And um, three years ago, um, I actually went to, to, uh, to Dallas, Texas to meet with um, a guy who was an expert in computer vision. And we talked about the AR cloud. And the AR cloud is essentially uh, persistent augmented reality experiences um, where, any, where, where it's geolocation based, where wherever you go, there's like an augmented reality experience that just kind of drops in from the AR cloud. And so this was three years ago. And the guy, you know, was, was uh, pretty excited. We were all excited about potentially trying to, uh, to create this AR cloud and, and it just didn't work out. But it was, it was one of those moments where um, I was thinking, wow, like this is going to be so cool when this finally does, does arrive in, in the future. And so it's here today. That is today's news, is that the AR cloud, which is essentially uh, the same thing as the metaverse, except the metaverse is uh, maybe more experiential, um, it, it's here. And so this, this acquisition of ARWay gives us the technology to allow us to become a metaverse company. So it's super, super exciting. Um, it, it really is uh, transformational for our company. And when you think about uh, the top of the mountain in the world of AR, the metaverse is the top of the mountain. There really is nothing above the metaverse or the AR cloud. It's just, um, it, it, it's the highest uh, activity uh, or, or business opportunity that we can, we can actually pursue. Interesting. You talk about getting AR away and that puts you guys as a part of the metaverse. Can, can you explain the connection between this and say Facebook announcing that they're a metaverse company? Are you kind of just falling into that with them kind of ride the hype with it? Or is this something you guys are fleshing out yourselves? Yeah. So we've been working on this acquisition for months. Um, so, you know, it, it's, uh, it's interesting because it's not just Facebook. It's Facebook, Epic Games, Niantic, Microsoft, and others. They've all identified the metaverse as the future of the internet and computing itself, where we basically will live inside a digital uh, twin uh, type world, where when you put on your AR glasses, or in today's world, when you take out your phone, there's AR experiences everywhere you point your phone or when you're wearing the glasses, everywhere you look. And so it's this persistence, persistent augmented reality experiences. Just like you look around you and you see um, objects, whether it's a tree, whether it's a car, whether it's a couch, whether it's you know the green grass, right? <laughs> you're seeing this persistence of the world around you. So imagine that in the metaverse, you're seeing a digital twin of a world overlaid essentially on top of the world I was just describing. Um, that's the metaverse where you have augmented reality that's persistent. It's always there, just yeah. like you know the sky, just like uh, cars and. And, and everything that we see on a daily basis in our lives, even people. Um, so, you know, holograms will be a regular thing in the metaverse where you'll have holograms just kind of beaming down from the AR cloud and appearing at different locations as you um, travel around the world. And so it's a super exciting time for us. We believe we have the technology to be the leader in the metaverse where we can populate the metaverse um, at scale with our hollow x technology so we can have human holograms and create the millions of human hologram experiences inside 
of the metaverse. I mean, that's the thing that gets me so excited about this acquisition is that the metaverse is nothing without content, yeah. nothing. It's like a blank computer, no content, right? Yeah. So you have an operating system, but there's no content. There's no internet. There's no, you know, www what? There's nothing there, right? And so that's the metaverse. Now, when you start to populate it, though, which is what we can do at scale with 3D AI, we can populate it with products at scale. We could do the same thing with human holograms at scale. That changes the metaverse into what it's supposed to be, which is this interactive, immersive, experiential world. But without the content, it really isn't anything, um, nothing exciting, right? And so yeah. we see the opportunity to create mini metaverses based on geolocations. Like think about museums, think about corporate headquarters where you walk in through the front door, maybe you're coming in for a job interview or you're meeting a friend and the CEO of the company beams into the lobby as a human hologram and welcomes you to his company. I mean. That's the reality that we can create very, very soon, very, very quickly. You know, this isn't like a 2025 dream. This is something that we can do in 2022. And so when you look at um, theme parks, sports stadiums, even university campuses, all of those places become ARTized with Next Tech's tech stack. And that's really, really transformational for our company. Yeah, you know, um, you had mentioned it, it's kind of like a, a blank slate right now. And you guys being well poised to move in, move into this space early it is wonderful, right? Because as you mentioned, there's kind of endless applications for this from museums, sports stadiums, concerts, it, it really doesn't matter. Like it, it can be applied to almost anywhere and really boost people's experience and make it a lot easier to reach people. Exactly. And um, we, we want to create uh, a metaverse that's, you know, has interoperability, just like, you know, www um, dot uh, whatever dot com. You know, so the idea is, is that um, anybody can create a website. Ultimately, we want anybody to be able to populate the metaverse with content, turn it over to creators, right? So that you can create uh, an experience inside your home, inside um, your your world. And so right now, if you look at uh, AR Way, they have an SDK uh, that allows you to integrate their tech into your app. So if you have an app, um, you can you can use their SDK in your app and then ultimately using uh, Microsoft uh, Azure spatial anchors, uh, it's, it's delivered cross-platform, meaning, you, you know, Unity, Unreal Engine, um, and Android Studio. U ultimately, it's a very robust toolkit for creating augmented reality experiences that are persistent, location-based experiences. And if you look at uh, who ARways worked with already, the City of London, uh, they're a UK-based company, so pretty much everybody's in the UK. Uh, they have a project with Guild Hall School of Music and Drama, uh, Westfield, which is a London uh, mall that they scanned and created um, kind of mapping of of the mall. So you know, lots of opportunities. Just think of the mall as a as an example. Another example. You're, you're in the mall and you're looking for a particular store instead of having to go to the map mm -hmm. and figure out where you are and, you know, where <laughs> the store is you're trying to go to. Imagine you just uh, take out your phone. There's a drop down menu. You pick your store and then there are arrows that are overlaid uh, basically uh, on top of uh, the pathway in front of you. In all, using augmented reality, directing you exactly to wherever you want to go inside that mall. And that could be a mall. It could be a corporate headquarters. It could be a university campus. It could be, hey, I'm, you're trying to find my seat at a, a soccer game or a baseball game. 
So like you said, the, the application is essentially endless and um, just couldn't be more excited about the next stretch of the road for next tech AR solutions. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, pretty much everybody's wanted a heads up display ever since we saw it in sci-fi or video games or anything. Things that, that can help you navigate to where you're going or just give you more information at, you know, just by looking at it. That's that's really wonderful. Evan, congratulations on this acquisition. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? I would just say that, you know, as always, we are a very ambitious company. Um, we've created some amazing technologies and uh, by integrating them all into one unified platform that all revolve essentially around the metaverse, we think we're creating tremendous value for our shareholders, as long as they keep their eye on the long-term vision, which is becoming a leader in the augmented reality space. Wonderful. Well, Evan, very well said. And thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions about any of this or want to talk about what you would use AR technology for, let us know. We'll very happily talk to you about it. For now, stay tuned. We'll get you some more news over the wire as soon as we can. Evan, have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too.